Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 7th of December. I'm James Spann getting set for a very mild weekend. Then the weather turns much colder next week. Let's get in there and check some of the sky cam shots this afternoon. First off, coming from Cheha State Park where the sky is mostly cloudy. Temperatures are in the low 60s up on the big mountain. On the western side of the state, that's the view coming from Hamilton High School. The sky mostly cloudy, although a few rays of sun are trying to peek through. How about that full rainbow in Mobile that was captured after a, a sprinkle down there by one of the Span Twitter Army members? Pattern beginning to buckle a little bit. You can see the uh, colder air st starting to nose down into the northern states based on the trough forming in the upper airflow. But around here, still uh, pretty mild, not as warm as yesterday, mostly 60s up on the map. Uh, Birmingham sitting at 64, Fort Payne at 61. That's the uh, cool spot up there in DeKalb County, along with Coleman and Haleyville. Uh, but we'll be back in the low 70s tomorrow and Sunday. Should be the warmest weekend of the month. Ooh, but look at the cold air up north. Uh, sing, uh, single digit readings at midday on the Canadian border. And we're going to feel some of that by Tuesday of next week. So get ready for a big change. In advance of that cold air push, we have winter storm watches up for parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, South Dakota, winter weather advisories for a large part of western Montana, some of the adjacent states. Uh, convective outlook, this is day two tomorrow, 5% severe weather probabilities. That is under slight risk criteria from Memphis down to about Tyler, Texas, and uh, pretty much the same deal on Sunday, low end 5% probabilities from Muscle Shoals, Nashville, Memphis, down to Austin, Texas. Uh, we don't expect any uh, major severe weather issues here uh, when that uh, ultimately winds up in Alabama Monday. And there's the rain for the next five days, valid through Wednesday morning at 6 o'clock local time. Heavier rains north of here. Uh, this is suggesting up in the Tennessee Valley, some folks up there might pick up rain amounts uh, over one and a half inches, but you can see the amounts taper off a good bit, especially as you go south to Birmingham. Let's look at modeling. This is the 12Z GFS, valid at 12 noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. And again, the flow is still fairly zonal, and uh, down below that, the day will be mild with low 70s. Cloudy at times, could be a shower, but they should be very widely spaced. Most of the day will be dry. Same thing on Sunday. There might be a speck or two on radar, but no big deal. Highs, low 70s. Not too far from record territory. Ah, but Monday, here comes the big trough. Down below that, here comes the cold front. Batch of showers and storms coming through. And again, that's not really a severe weather look. And uh, this run a smidgen faster than recent runs and with the rain coming in uh, in the morning the, that could keep us in the 50s all day and again severe weather just not likely there's no surface-based instability there and this is suggesting rain amounts of about one half to one inch now tuesday you can see the core of the trough is still west of here we have a southwest flow aloft and down below that colder air is moving in so uh, that's an overrunning pattern so tuesday should be a, a cloudy day and a cool day we could be in the 40s all day with those clouds and there might even be a touch of light drizzle in spots with that kind of setup or light rain. And then Wednesday, finally, the trough comes through, and that should uh, make for a clearing sky. Uh, that would suggest a clearing sky Wednesday. We'll start the day in the 20s. The high should be in the uh, low to mid-50s. And Thursday looks uh, dry. We'll probably be near freezing early in the day with highs in the mid to upper 50s. And a week from today, moisture starts to come back west of the state as surface low forms near Childress, Texas, and rain breaks out around the Arklatex. Uh, again, that's the uh, 14th. And then the uh, following day, look at this now. This is uh, Saturday, December 15th. Uh, very impressive trough and a deep surface low, 992 millibars. Uh, just north of Paducah, Kentucky, and that would suggest maybe a severe weather setup if this is right. And this is just beyond our seven-day you know, confidence period. Uh, but if this is right, that weekend would start wet and stormy and then it would turn colder after that. We'll check the end of the forecast December 23rd. And you can see the idea we have ridging over the central U.S., troughing over the east, and down below that, that would be cold and dry. Uh, Christmas Eve, Eve. Look at the anomalies. I'll show you the difference. This is where we are today. 
off the GFS, warm over much of the continental United States. And this is where we are on December 23rd. And uh, these are anomalies in degrees Fahrenheit, and that's suggesting the anomalies could be greater than, uh, what, minus 12 or minus 15 here. That's pretty cold. So, uh, again, the evidence certainly suggests the weather uh, over the latter half of this month will be much colder than the weather we have seen over the past week as we start the month of December. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. My next video will be Monday morning at 7. The man that looks like Colonel Sanders, Brian Peters, will have the video updates tomorrow and Sunday. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless. Who's got time to listen to boring radio shows? If you're going to listen to something, listen to something good, like eavesdrop. My favorite thing about Christmas is not the presents. No. And it's not the million no. Christmas parties. And it's not playing Dirty Santa. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's it's about relationships. relationships. I know. I know exactly where you're going it, with that. Yeah. It, it just is. It is. And take the time. What if this is your last Christmas yeah. and you never know? Just talking it up. They may use the name Jesus in a terrible way when they hit their thumb with a, you know, <laughs> with a with a hammer by accident on right. Saturday afternoon when they're working on their car. But don't bring Jesus into a song and give him a beer. That ain't right. Yeah, hey, I know a few <laughs> of those folks myself. Bama Talk Show. But before we head for the Dome, we got business to take care of at home. So making plans for the throwdown in downtown Atlanta, we'll have to wait until that post-game rammer jammer rings in the postseason for Bama and the offseason for the barn. Auburn unleashed. That magical score that, that Auburn fans remember, 17-16, came out of that game. And Bill Newton was responsible for the, for the chant, punt, Bama, punt. Bill, thank you for joining us. Uh, good afternoon, Adam. I appreciate y'all having me as uh, the first guest on your show. Worldview Matters. And, you know, we've been talking about a number of things. Last couple of times we talked about socialism. We moved from Islam to socialism, and we were going to continue today to do the same thing. But a lot of things have happened in the world in the past 10 days. Uh, it's oh, heated yeah. up again in, in, in Israel. So I thought it would be a good uh, chance for us to talk about some of the things that relate to worldview as it relates to the Israeli situation and Egypt and all that's going on in the Middle East. High School Heroes. And the plane goes right through the bridge and doesn't catch on fire. It's tons of stuff, man. Uh, tons of unrealistic stuff, but hey, it was really cool, actually. Warning, any of these shows can be addictive and they are all fun. Listen on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.